Music and Talk with Mike Live. When I come in here, I feel real just, I feel privileged sometimes to sit with just greatness. I mean, there's just greatness in the room right now, and the vibes are great. And this guy sitting across from me, Pat Ryder, let me tell you a real quick story about this guy. This guy. Here we go. Here we go. This man right here is literally in the same family with Teddy Riley. Mm. And for those that what don't up, know, huh? I mean, Teddy Riley, can we just say no diggity one time? No doubt. I mean, that's all I got to say. It's just there's so much. I mean, Teddy Riley in sync. He worked mm. with sync too. Take it to the pop side one time. But no, for real, man, Pat Riley sitting in the building right now. Um, where are you born and raised, Pat Riley? Let the people know where you're from. Well, I'm, I was originally born in Harlem, you know, New York. Uh, moved to Virginia shortly after that. A lot of school in VA. Rep VA hard, you know. Um, from there, Atlanta for a couple of years. Yeah. doing this, Trying to pursue this music thing. Came out here to L.A. Keep it going. Man. Music and talk with Mike Live. Because I know we all come to this. If you've done something so many times, mm -hmm. it's like mixing a record. Right. Like you can mix it a million times and sometimes like, dang, I still don't like how it sounds. Because you're particular as an artist. But in the music side of, of what you've been, be, you know, been able to do, mm -hmm. are you currently now at the point where you feel pretty comfortable in... Uh, and what you're and what you're doing now, like most, you feel? Yeah, most definitely. Just yeah. you know, feel more comfortable in the craft for sure. You know, what I mean, I I took a step back from the artist side to do like kind of get my hands into the mixing and yeah, kind of behind the scenes. Got a little grasp on that, and now I just think it's you know it's time. Yeah, it's like Hassan was saying earlier. Hassan, we we're talking about being being artist and the asset of being more than just an artist. Right. You know, I think if you're uh, multi talented. You know, uh, what do they call it? A uh, triple, triple threat kind of vibe. Yeah. You can do more than one thing, you know. So I feel like it's it's naturally like artists should be segueing into producing. Yeah. Not relying on other people to make things for them. That but, seems you know. to be the, the, the tip in life. Definitely. Yeah. If, if you can't figure someone to do something or, or, or do it for you, you do it yourself. <laughs> yeah, you can't. If, if they don't, don't do wait. it right, get it on yourself, wait. right? <laughs> and once you start doing it yourself, the people who actually are good at those things will come. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because they're like, oh, yeah, he's nice. Chad, this well, You display not what you're stop. trying to do, yeah. right? You this display. Dude, yeah, this dude is literally not going to stop. So let me like align forces. I do just want to say, <laughs> let's not mistake Pat Riley for the older Italian <laughs> man who used to <laughs> coach the NBA. <laughs> and and uh, <laughs> we gotta get you a pair of wa seven hundred wave wave runner Yeezys. Oh, you, got, you are the wave. Well, you are the you wave. Are the wave. You are the way. Well, Hassan you have put to it like that. You, you put it like that, then yeah, let's go get this. Let's, <laughs> <laughs> let's go do it. Let's Yo, go man. wave out. Music and talk with Mike Glide. Let me, Mike let me just Glide. share something real quick. A, a quick of story of, of Pat, Pat and I, how we met. Mm -hmm. Literally through the walls of our studios. He was in one room. I was in the other room. And uh, my partner at the time walked over next door and was like, oh, yeah. you guys keep it down over there. Man. It was like nagging on them, right? And nagging. then later on, I met I met Pat and Tavo. And ever since then, it was it was history. But the point that I'm making is that I witnessed his sacrifice. That, that's why we're friends to this day. Wow. You know, not just making music. It's, it's about the bigger picture. Yeah. For me, it's always about the bigger picture as a producer working with other people. Does it really gel, yeah. you know? And he's committed literally slept in his studio said i'm not gonna i'm actually not gonna go get a place i'm just gonna live in the studio and really make some many nights <laughs> wow so i'd literally you knock live, on the door the and see him yeah, wake many, up yeah <laughs> lived, lived in the studio yeah literally how long did you do that i did that for a while like <laughs> for a while even when i had a place i still kind of pretty much lived in the studio it was yeah. no point of having yeah, a right. An apartment, yeah, right. Yeah. Could you write that same, off same in your taxes back? <laughs> I mean, I, I should be able to now, and I think. I yeah. Could probably do something like that. I'm wondering, man. So if I'm going right to go yeah. live in the studio, man. I'm going to write that shit off. I'm going to live right here at Dash, bro. Right. 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 <laughs> Why not? Mike, Mike Live Room. <laughs> hey, man, I'm excited, though, man, Pat. You know, you, you really have been a, a straight person the whole time. Yeah, appreciate it. You know, Mike. a lot of people sometimes they they uh, they say you're, they're your friend, they ride with you. And and some people, they, they don't. You know, they say it and. Anytime you and I have ever came across each other, always mad respect. Shout out to your little daughter. You have ah, a daughter. Thanks. And yeah. I got a chance to see see that happen and because yeah. I've known you for a while now. That's my little world right there. She all over my Instagram. <laughs> wow. You see that, man? Times times is about love right now, man. He may have an artist on his hand, just saying. <laughs> see?
at a young age. Music and talk with Mike Live. If you ain't following Pat Riley, at Team Pat Riley, that's it, right? Yeah. Something's wrong with you. This man is going to win. He's a real one. He is a real one. See, that's the difference between real ones and people that are just throwing out dumb music out there. And I really, there's a lot of music that's trash. This man right here has a story. He telling a story, and I'm ready to ride with it. That's why I fuck with you, Pat Riley. Mike. For real, man. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mike. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> nah, I fuck that, with man. you, bro. Thank you, nah, man. you good, man. Music and talk with Mike Live. Hey, man, thanks for coming through, Pat. Braxton, man. Always a pleasure, Mike and Hassan. Love man. it, man. I feel like when I step into this place, like I, I really want to like do like a takeover or something because I feel like <laughs> Hassan and I are on some like telepathic frequency waves over here. Yeah, you're on that like forefront energy. Oh yeah, exactly. And then you got Pat, who came through the for my interview. Yep. So I just came here to show love to Pat. That's how it goes. It's, Rain down on this guy. Go go over to Pat. I'm telling you, Team Pat Riley. Go follow him. Yep. So much is coming. The video is actually coming out November 2nd. Oh, second? Okay. Yeah, for Spell on You. Um it's be a hard video. Right? These are the waves. Love it, man. Hey, <laughs> and you guys, you guys, you guys definitely have a, a combo. Mm -hmm. And the vibe that oh, you yeah. guys have, it's it's powerful. Mm. That energy you share together as artists is going to make you great and even better. And so keep that strong, keep that faith strong, keep that relationship strong, and you're gonna build huge mountains. Mm -hmm. You know? You're in you're in that mountain, bro. I'm you in it. Know. My Rushmore. brother's right here. I'm in it, man. Yo, it's a new Rushmore. Music and talk with Mike Live. Mike Live. Mike Live.